What is up guys, New Limits here and today I wanted to show you guys my 1 to 70 solo walkthrough that I did in 50 minutes on the Necromancer. I'm not using clones because it's not season 22 yet. With the clones you are looking at 40 minutes to 45 minutes max. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I did. I really hope I can help you start season 22 off with a blast. I'm putting my Necromancer guide to the test. I suggest you watch that guide after this video if you haven't already. It would be great if you want to support me, leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And let's go. Alright, so we're gonna switch a hero. We're gonna pick the Necromancer. I always like to take the female version. I like it a little bit more. Don't forget to equip the wings and the pet. Alright, then normally you um, you put it on Torment, of course, and you would do the Challenge Rift. Make sure you save and close before you do the Challenge Rift, otherwise you will not be able to get the bag in the season, and you're absolutely screwed. Now we're gonna go to the Templar, we're gonna hire him. We prefer the Templar because uh, he can heal us, and it's just a little bit better. Now I'm checking what weapon is better. Sometimes the dagger from the en Enchantress can actually be better than the weapon from the Templar. Most of the times the Templar's weapon is better, but occasionally it happens. Alright, then you just want to go to the merchants, you want to buy the best possible items. Now I don't have the Challenge Rift back at the moment, but I made sure that I just have uh, the right amount of blood shards. I actually have a little bit less even. And I'm not going to use any more resources than I would normally have um, when I would use the Challenge Rift bag. So I'm not going to use more. So now I'm going to go to Kadala. And I'm just going to go for the gloves. The gloves are the most important part. And I would uh, keep the shards to roll on pants. So you'll see me do that later in the video. I will roll for pants. Then you train the blacksmith and you train the um, the mystic. And then you just try to search for uh, Magda. So you want to kill uh, Magda, you want to search for the bounty. That is really important. It is not worth it to go for Zultan Kul because you want to at least be level 5. And if you kill Zultan Kul, you're level 4. So it's not enough. So yeah, now we're just searching. Sometimes it can take quite a long time. But it is worth it to just keep on searching. You'll see me in a bit uh, getting a little bit um, frustrated because I can't find it. I believe I need to uh, do it two or three more times. It's a little bit of a rip. But, you know, it, it's whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> One more, yeah, I'm still not finding it, it really sucks. But, you know, it happens. Um, I only tried this just once. So I made my Necromancer guide, uh, which is actually doing more than I ever expected. And this is just the first time that I try it. Um, for this video, I mean, of course, I've done it multiple times. But for this video, um, this is the, the first try. So whatever happens, happens. Because we just want to be prepared for the next season. Holy! Wow, I can't actually believe that it was this many tries. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> At this point, it probably would have been better to just go to a, like a like a, a rift to get to level 5. But I mean, you can't know it. Sometimes you have it from the first try, sometimes from the second or the third. We get very unlucky here. And we finally get it. So that's very nice. Okay, so what you want to do here is... Um, it doesn't matter if you get level 2 or not. So you can just... Kill it, it doesn't matter. Keep in mind that um, in Season 22 you will have the Seasonal buff. 
You don't want to pick this shrine up. Okay, you do not want to do that. Uh, because it go it disappears when you uh, run into Magda anyways, because when you enter a new zone it disappears. But also, if you spawn the clone, it will actually kill too many um, monsters. You will get to level 3 or maybe even level 4. And Magda will be a lot harder to kill. So, I don't suggest you do that. I was kind of thinking about this for Season 22. I am not sure. But it might be better to not go for Magda and search for a shrine to get to level 5. But I am not 100% sure. I can't test that right now because the clones aren't active. But it might be faster. I'm, I'm really not sure. So what you want to do here is create a massacre bonus. You just want to kill 15. If you get a massacre bonus of 15, you will get an extra level. And that extra level is a very useful. Um, because then you're level 6, I mean, one extra level, why not? It's very nice. If you kill her right here, I'm pretty sure you are level 5. But I just go for that extra level. So you got Corpse Explosion in a second, let's go. You got level 5, you have a Massacre bonus, and you're gonna get to level 6. It's just an extra level, it's really nice. What you could do in Season 22 is not recall right now, but go get the Shrine. Because you know there's a Shrine there, you could pick it up and, um, you know, enjoy one minute of the clone. Why not? So now we're just gonna go craft a weapon. This is really important to always um, do that. Because you really want to have the highest damage that you can possibly uh, get. Because we're gonna go to the runes of Seshuron. And you wanna be ready for that because it's actually a really annoying zone. And the Necromancer is one of the only classes that can do it decently fast on Torment. Other classes have a really hard time doing it. They cannot clear it um, in on this level, level 6. I generally say that for other classes you need to be at least level 10 so you can buy rings and amulets. But the Necromancer with the Corpse Explosion is just so incredibly strong that you can actually do that. So we're ready now. And we're just gonna go to the Runes of Seshuron and we're just gonna clear it out. Bell has invaded Seshuron. But we will fight until we are no more. For we are so it's really important here to focus on a massacre bonus. And I swear to the best of your abilities. You should have the damage. So that should be fine. And don't forget to craft a phylactery too. So this is really annoying. That that guy spawns. They spawn very often. So you're gonna have to deal with them quite a lot. But what you can do here is I'm trying to kite him to the uh, corpses to kill um, him just a little faster. And what you're gonna see me do now is uh, I'm gonna try to um, make the trap hit him. So it does a lot of damage and you're gonna see the trap kills him. So that's a very useful thing that you uh, might be able to do if you get a little lucky and he spawns very close to those traps. Because you can use it to kill enemies. And because it's torment, the traps actually hit really hard. So yeah, it's very useful to do that. Other than that, just try to keep your massacre bonus up to the best of your abilities. And what is also really important to try and keep your massacre bonus up is you're gonna have to learn to use the shift key. I believe it is for stand still. And when you um, use that, so you do just the, the shift key and your um, left mouse click, your you know, your your, um, your normal auto attack. It's gonna make sure that you stand still and you auto attack. Uh, which basically me makes it a lot easier for you to keep your massacre bonus up because you can um, guide it just a little bit more. Because you only have a few seconds and the massacre bonus is gone. So you really want to make sure that you don't misclick or click next to the enemy or whatever because then, you know, your massacre bonus is gone and that would be very unfortunate. My 
So we're very lucky now that we have the Cleanse the Cursed chest because that means that we actually know where to go. This zone can be incredibly annoying uh, to get to. But when you get the Cleanse the Cursed chest, it automatically tells you where the Elder Sanctum is. Which is just very nice and convenient. So what we're, what we are doing right now is I'm actually just running and I'm not killing enemies. This is because we actually gained a lot of levels. So we bought uh, from the merchants a lot of items from level 6 and we have a level 5 weapon. Which is not strong enough in an, anymore um, at this level. So what I do is I just run to the next zone because it would not be worth it to try and kill them. Because it would just take way too much time. So I just go into Elder Sanctum. I base, I go back to town. Very important to note is that I've already been here. I bought items from uh, these merchants and of course you want to um, craft the best possible weapon uh, that is possible. But I've already bought from these merchants so you want to go to a different town where you have not been yet. Because uh, the level that you first got into a town, that is the level that... Um, you can purchase from them. So you would not be able to buy rings or any higher levels from the merchants from Act 4. So you have to go to Act 3 or whatever. Alright, so now we're just checking if we have um, the highest possible gear. And you should be able, with the challenge rift back, you should be able to do these things. It's, it's not crazy. I actually didn't get a better one, which is very unfortunate. And do not, I almost screwed up. I went to the map and I wanted to click it. Don't do that, please. You have to go back to your portal um, to the Elder Sanctum. That would have been very, very bad. Okay, now this zone is really important. You get, can get some really nice um, massacre bonuses here. Because this zone is absolutely crazy with the Rat Kings. And we are a little bit lucky that we get the cursed chest. But yeah, the Rat Kings, they just explode like crazy. And it's, yeah, it's it just feels amazing to play it. You feel incredibly strong. Everything feels really smooth. The leveling process is, is just really nice for a Necromancer. So you're just focusing on your Massacre bonus. Trying to clear everything out. To the best of your abilities. It's not always easy to keep the Massacre bonuses up. But as I said, if you use the Force uh, Stand Still with the auto attack, then you can ha uh, have an easier time keeping the Massacre bonus up. Okay, so now we're just clearing. We're already at 190. So we have... Um, Almost 200 now, which is really nice. But yeah, you just want to have it as high as you possibly can. Now for Season 22, again, we've already passed uh, two shrines. This is the second shrine. So this would obviously go a little bit faster. Now, I think what might happen when you actually pick up the shrines in Season 22 is your Massacre bonus might be harder to keep up. But I think it's still worth it to take it, of course. But I do believe your Massacre bonus might sometimes get screwed over when you click the pylons. This is really, really juicy. Now, very unfortunate, you'll see it in a little bit. Um, I actually drop my Massacre bonus right when I get to the Cursed Chest, I'm not able to keep it up. Which is incredibly unfortunate because I would have probably had a Massacre bonus of around 600. But I wasn't able to keep it up. So this one I barely managed to keep onto it because I really wanted to, you know, have the Massacre bonus for the Cursed Chest. So I kind of thought I was fine to be honest, but then here I just can't clear it anymore. Really unfortunate. And because I'm level 17, my gear is actually getting worse now. So it makes uh, this clear a lot harder. 
If I still was like level 14, this would have been a lot easier to clear. Uh, you're noticing, or at least I felt that my damage was actually uh, getting a little bit lower. It was just a little bit harder to clear. And I felt like I was dying a lot faster. So I, I had way less room for error here. So yeah, keep your massacre bonus up as high as you can. Because uh, the level of the enemies are lower then. And, you know, your EXP is higher. If you have the massacre bonus. So it's just incredibly important. I can't emphasize it enough. How, how important it is. Okay, so we're just blasting. There we go, level 19, we get level 20. Absolutely beautiful. Now, sometimes when you're clearing, definitely when you're going to Torment 6, sometimes it's actually better to go for toughness and not always for damage. Because you have your multipliers, you have your uh, Gloves of Essence, I believe it's called. You also have your multiplier from the two-handed scythe that you will upgrade. So sometimes going for more toughness is actually the better option. So here I'm just looking at the highest um, level that I can manage to get a weapon. Now I pick up a sword here which is actually a mistake. And I notice it so I go for a two-hander which is a lot more damage. You can tell 63 to 139 plus. That is a huge damage increase of course. Alright, so what we're gonna do now is leave the game. We're gonna start a new game in Torment 6. And we're basically uh, never gonna go lower anymore. Now, if you're having a lot of troubles with Torment 6, you might want to drop. But I would highly suggest that you, you know, try to go for Torment 6. You are gonna die a few times, okay? That's just what it is. It is impossible to not die. So if you're playing hardcore, yeah, you can't really do this strategy. You're gonna have to go lower. But you're gonna die, so expect that. Alright, so the pants I'm really doubting. Um, I could have chosen to pick it up, the pants there. But it was uh, really close. But if you're seeing something like um, you get plus 3 damage, but you lose minus 20, then don't go for it. So what I'm doing here is I'm checking the levels on the on the pants and on the chest and I noticed that their levels were very low. So level 3 I believe it was and the other one I'm not really sure what it was. And as you can see it was a, a big damage upgrade that I got there. So crafting your items is actually um, really important to keep your damage and your toughness up. So now I'm gonna go for a two-handed scythe. I'm gonna level it. And then I'm going to the cube. You have four options uh, to get. Again, if you haven't checked my Necromancer guide, I go in detail on what you can get and what you should do with your shards and with your uh, rare upgrades. So I definitely suggest you go watch it. Uh, but I got the, uh, the Bone Spear, which is a really nice one. Pretty much every single one that you can get will be good. Every single one. Alright, so I, I actually forgot to um, upgrade it. <laughs> so you want to extract the power, of course. Normally you would click it, but I already have it in the cube. But you would extract that, and then you go in. So I'm using Leech here, just for now. You want to use Frailty, but for now I'm going to go with Leech, because you actually get quite a lot of health regen. As you can see, I would have normally died there. But because you... Um, Heal so much, you actually manage to stay alive. So that's really nice. But normally you would go for frailty. It's better. But now you don't have frailty yet, so the health regeneration is really good. And by the way, for every single class, when you are leveling, this is the Necromancer, and you know, Necromancer is, is OP with leveling. But for every other class, um, health regeneration is actually really, really good. Sometimes people actually forget how strong health regeneration is, but for the, the leveling process, health regeneration is one of the most important uh, stats, actually. Because generally, nothing is really gonna one-shot you. 
Uh, so the health regeneration um, is actually very useful there. There we go. So we're doing Torment 6 and we're actually just blasting through. Corpse Explosion is just absolutely amazing here. We take this zone because you have a lot of um, the smaller enemies that spawn in. And they drop a lot of corpses which is gonna make your damage yeah, just go out of control. So I'm not popping those corpses right now. Because I want to keep those corpses for the... Um, for the cursed chest event. So that's why I didn't pop them right away. So now I have a few corpses so I can actually um, do the cursed chest event a little bit easier. And you're gonna see that this is just gonna be really quick, really easy. We're not really doing anything special. We're not even using the bone spear all that often at the, at the moment because we are killing stuff uh, rather quickly. Alright, so once you've done the cursed chest um, and you gained a lot of levels, so as you can see we uh, went from level 20 I believe to level 33, that is 13 uh, levels. Once you get to the 33, don't keep going because it's actually useless. Don't do it because your, um, your gear and your weapon is now um, not good anymore. Your damage is, is low and it will not be worth it to keep going. So you just want to reset, go back, buy a new weapon, um, buy or craft new um, weapons and gear, so you're good again. Make sure that your skills... Um, I go here for Volatile Death. I go for Dislocation. Because the stun is just very valuable. Okay, now here for the passives, Dark... Reaping, I wanted to go for it, but I, I don't think... Do I go for it? No. I think I'm gonna uh, switch that out really fast. Um, overwhelming Essence is really important if, if you get the real, um, the Shadow Hook. Um, and here I use my the, the rest of my shards on Kadala. If you get Pox Faults, that is fine too. So you have two options, or the pants that I got with the Golem. Which is the best one because you get 30% damage reduction. Um, but you can also get Pox Faults, which is also really nice. Now, if this is all going too fast, I really do highly suggest you go check out my guide. Where I go in, in way slower detail on what you should do. Here I'm just really trying to, you know, go as fast as I possibly can. So I'm just trying to explain everything. I hope I'm doing a good job and I hope this is informative for you. Now, I almost made a mistake there uh, buying the gloves. But please always make sure that you do not um, put away your legendaries, okay? Because I wanted the gloves because it was a, a, a damage increase. But of course it is not worth it. Like not even close. So really don't do that. So now I'm just checking... Alright, so the best thing is, if I can give you one tip, uh, definitely with the limited amount of resources that you have from the Challenge Rift bag, try to buy as much as you possibly can. Money will not be an issue, materials might be an issue, uh, and we're gonna talk about that just a little bit later when you're trying to um, have a level 70 um, and reduce its level requirement. So you might run out of resources there, so always try to buy everything if you're really noticing that one um like for example your chest is like level three and you're level 30 of course you want to craft that because it's just really not good anymore it's it's out leveled it's not good um but other than that try to buy it but a weapon always craft it always and here i actually made a mistake i'm gonna notice it um after this level i should have taken the golem so I have the pants for 30% damage reduction and extra, and I believe it's like a 20 or 25% cooldown reduction on Golem for more corpse spawns. And I actually forgot to uh, put it on my bar. So that is why you see me uh, die here a few times actually. 
Now what I'm doing here is I'm on purposely not killing it. So I'm letting myself die because I want uh, the frailty curse on as much enemies as I possibly can. So I can um, try to blast them when I get uh, out of... Um, you know, when I'm alive again, I'm sorry. So I believe now I'm gonna start popping it. But this is also my mistake. I kind of screwed up with uh, the golem. Let's go. The Aura of Frailty is the best one, but we haven't unlocked it yet. But that is the best skill to use. So now I died quite a lot. I believe I just go back to town. I gained three levels. That's actually fine. You're gonna notice that that does happen sometimes, all right? When you're going T6, it's actually way above what you should normally be doing. You are gonna die. And you really have to be on your game and you really have to play very well to be able to pull it off consistently and not dying. It's really not easy. I think now I notice the golem. I believe. Please. <laughs> Come on, man, get the golem. I wasn't really sure, actually, when you consume. I'm not sure when you do the corpse explosion, if you consume the, um, the corpse. I probably, maybe it's only when you devour, actually. So that passive is actually kind of useless. Uh, and I actually can't believe that I don't have the golem yet. Yikes. So that's definitely a mistake on my part. I think I'm gonna do it shortly though. Alright, so as you could have seen um, as well, we have a lot of um, pylon spawns here. So those pylon spawns are gonna make it even easier. Now, when you're playing on Torment 6, the Massacre bonus becomes a little bit less of a uh, priority. Now, you still want to keep that Massacre bonus up as high as you possibly can, because it is gonna give you a lot of levels. But because everything is exploding really fast, you can't always keep that Massacre bonus up as long as you would like it to. So it is fine if you drop it a few times. Try to keep it up as, as long as you can, of course, because it is going to be a, a big difference in levels. But it can happen that you drop it. And I think it happens often to me too. That I might have been able to keep it up a little bit longer. But then I kind of screw up. So now I'm trying to guide it a little bit and search. And I actually found an enemy so I can keep the massacre bonus up. That is something that you really want to try and do. I can't do that. Now, of course, this is really nice that I don't have the golem yet because you can actually see how tanky, how tanky you would be if you would not have gotten that item. So if you only got the gloves, for example, but you didn't get the pants, this is how tanky you would be. <laughs> so you would probably die a few times. So if you die too many times, just reset. And definitely, um, so the final service passive here is incredibly important. And I believe I finally do it. Come on, man. Alright, so we're just gonna reset. So the cursed chest event is the most important event. When Once you've got that, if you can keep your massacre bonus up, keep going. But once your massacre bonus runs out, just leave. Go back to town, reset, uh, buy your stuff, get your weapons, and yeah. Alright, so what we're gonna do here now is try to get a level 70 mace with level reduced. What you want to do here is you want to craft one and try for probably five or six times. So that is what I'm doing here right now too. I could keep on rolling, but I wanted to make it, you know, how it would be in the season. So you want to do this one again. Now this is the best one that you can possibly have, because it also has life per hit. Which basically means that you will have one, even one less, um, 
you have more chance to get the level requirements. So we've got a 20 right now. I do believe you have these, these many rolls. Now this is getting close, but I think you still have these amount of rolls. Now I transmogrify it so you cannot, um, you know, when you salvage your items, you can't actually salvage it. Otherwise, sometimes you might actually make a mistake and you salvage it. So that's why I transmog it. Then you just go back to the merchant. It's basically repeat at this point. So you're basically doing the same things over and over again. Don't take those pants, please. Maybe I actually... Yeah, now I notice it. Because I was buying the pants. Yeah. Alright. So I was buying the pants and I noticed I wasn't using it. I felt really stupid. So yeah. And then we're just gonna go back. So I know there is a lot of discussion about the Shadow Clones for Season 22. Um, and there are like shrine locations that you can easily get to. And I believe they are viable for every single other class. But for a um, Necromancer, I don't think it's worth it. I mean, we are clearing this in um, 50 minutes. I mean, 50 minutes. You you can't do that any faster. So I don't believe you should go to any other zone. Um, just stay here. You've, you, you've probably seen it already. You have a lot of shrines uh, that already spawned. They will already help you. So it's really not necessary. Now, once you, once you get to this point, this is actually the hardest point um, in the whole leveling process. So right now you're at almost, so we had level requirement 26, which basically means we can use our weapon on level 44. Basically the levels in around the 40s, they are the hardest. Once you actually get to your level requirement, you're just gonna see you're absolutely blasting. But yeah, those are gonna be the hardest levels. So I'm trying to get back to kill them yeah and I die so this is what I mean this is by far the hardest part now I'm just killing I'm blowing up let's go feels amazing and I actually let myself die here because I'm gonna reach level 44 so I'm like okay just kill me it's fine I can equip my weapon, and now they just die. It's like, hello, you're dead. <laughs> yeah, and now it's just, um, I mean, your damage just got an insane, insane boost. And you're just going. Now, the only point where it becomes a little bit more difficult, and again, a shrine, so normally you would again get a clone, and because you have a level 70 weapon, and your clones depend on the amount of legendaries you have equipped, and your sheet DPS, those clones are gonna hit like absolute trucks. So we leveled 50 minutes. I, hi I really believe in a season, if you get, you know, if you did the exact same thing as I did, you would probably do this in 40 minutes. 40, 45 minutes, it's probably even a little bit faster. Because you have extra damage coming in. Uh, but probably the hardest point from this point on is gonna be at around level 66. Because enemies are gonna get a little bit stronger, you're almost level 70. Then it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. But you can actually stay Torment 6 all the way to level 70. Which basically also means that when you are actually going for your seasonal journey, you actually can handle a pretty high torment already when you're level 70. So you can actually do them on torment 3 probably, torment 4 to do your seasonal journey and actually have a really good advantage there too. So again, doing the same thing over and over again, merchants. You know, really take your time to get those armors or those weapons in. Sometimes it feels like it takes a long time and it's actually, you know, you're losing time, but it's it's really not.
Now it really depends on if you still have the um, resources for it. If you were very unlucky and you had to roll a lot for the level 70 requirement, you will not be able to craft anymore, so you always focus on buying stuff. But very important marks for crafting are level 50, I believe, and level 61. So you want to make sure that when, when you hit those levels that you want to check if your gear is up to date. But you might not have the resources for it to craft it, so you will only be able to buy. But it will still be an upgrade. As you can see, Torment 6, it's just, you know, it's laughable at this point. It's just nothing. We're just slaying some... Some demons. Well, I'm not sure they are, they're actually demons. They probably are, they are disgusting. Yeah, boom. Level 52. So yeah, um, I think I'm gonna like leave it here. I'm gonna uh, play the video out, but I'm not really gonna talk anymore because I feel like I've really said everything. Season 22, it's gonna be even faster with the Shadow Clones, Massacre bonuses, buy from the merchants. Um, you can watch at the skills that I use, but it does depend a little bit on what um, weapon you get, of course. But really nothing is gonna happen anymore at this point that is new. You're just gonna do the same things over and over again. Uh, so yeah, I just wanna thank you so much for watching. Um, keep watching till we are level 70. Uh, of course, that would be really nice because you're actually gonna see that it, it does become a little bit harder once we get to the 66, 67 point. Um, but yeah, I want to thank you so much for watching. 15 minutes is absolutely crazy. Season 22 is even going to be better. You're looking at solo clears of, if you're lucky, 40 minutes, 45 minutes. Um, shrine spawns are really nice here. You can use them very well. Uh, so yeah. Thank you guys so much. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye. I must try this in another dangerous with most of these, you know?
Unable to get it open. Not here. Weapons and armor are worth more than food at a time like this. Not enough essence. My power has grown. I need your death near. That needs to recharge. My essence is too low. the site. 
I must wait longer. The night embraces you. for the worst, my brother always said. This world can abide you no longer!
corpse. to recharge. is too low. longer. Not enough essence. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.